Hello my soccer universe to another unpacking and this time it is mixed. You see me wearing a club shirt, I have World Cup background. Yes, it's one club shirt, it is one World Cup shirt and they're both two bargains. If you remember and if you don't, uh, link is up there. I recently got a parcel from someone who sold two shirts for 10 bucks. Among these was this United shirt, which I think Andy found a classic football shirts for well over 100 pounds. And then an Arsenal third jersey in Le Maroon and navy blue. Both wonderful jerseys, which I thought that for 10 bucks they're all a steal. And I even told the seller he had a few other jerseys out, out there that were not of immediate interest to me. But I told him if he ever has any other shirts to sell, he should contact me directly and not post it and, and so on, because there's a high chance that I will buy. And not too long after, he came through and said, well, I have this and this shirt. And there was one shirt that I was, um, how do I put it? I may not have bought it for a higher price, but for 10 bucks, I thought it's too good of a deal to pass up. And the other one was one that has been on my list for a while and will could be useful for the World Cup. Uh, however, I have of the team already a few shirts, but then I thought, you know, uh, for that price, I know I see it here and there, even for the 10 bucks, uh, it is fine. I'm going to take both of them because I think overall the deal is way too good. And I would say let's start with the national team jersey that's in here. Uh, it is a classic from the 2006 World Cup, a jersey that I always liked. Probably the away jersey I would have liked even more. It fits with the Manchester United. It is the England home jersey from the 2006 World Cup. Yeah, didn't go as England has would have hoped. However, I saw England against Sweden in Cologne, but on the video wall ahead of the uh, in front of the cathedral. So there's that uh, memory. Was not the happiest of memories, to be honest. But that's a different story. But I have to say, I always liked this jersey. Um, especially with the uh, the cross here uh, that always intrigued me i think it's a really really nice england shirt hey maybe it's that will be the one that i'm using for my world cup coverage um uh, or i used one of them yeah i have to still think about that but yeah overall i do like this one uh it has the golden star here which uh under nike they don't do and i also like uh the you know that the crest is kind of also in on the incident then there's an england flag which you can see on both sides and a little England flag here. So I, I always like this jersey, I have to say. Uh, he sent me already a repeat. I know I have, uh, we have authenticated that uh, and given that the other jersey is also a real, I have little to, uh, little doubt that these are authentic. So yeah, this is an XL. This was the bigger one. And uh, as I said, I'm actually looking forward to, I was looking forward to having this one, honestly, Outside of a package, I may not have gotten it at this time, but I said 10 bucks. All right, let's go for it. But here is the pièce de résistance. And yes, I'm talking in French. And yes, uh, my buddy Idris said this is a highly overvalued short. And yes, you have already seen it in the video up here. When I bought it for Andy. For, we said 45. Now, uh, for Andy, I bought this particular shirt in XL. And it has a sp and um, it was without sponsor, which would probably be a little bit more to the specifications I like. But for ten bucks, getting a 2006-07 PSG away jersey, the one with the Louis Vuitton style in an L, which probably will fit me just fine. And with sponsor, an amazing deal, I have to say. This is a shirt that when you look, especially. Um, around here and in Great Britain, where, you know, those are the where often check, you, s you barely see this below 100. It's also one of the most faked jerseys out there. I have seen, uh, I think Chinese fakers really, really like this one. So it's always good to make sure that the tag here, you know, you have the silvery and so on, and then the, uh, the numbers here also line up, which they do. So I'm really, really, really pleased with this one. In addition, the jersey feels right. Again, brown is not my favorite color. By far not. Brown, brown, brown is probably the color that I like least. This is my first brown jersey. I always thought it would be a St. Pauli jersey. But given that I can see why people like this one, 
with, with, with the fashion design. And as I said, I think this is the first uh, one where really they try to combine fashion with football jerseys. Um, it looks not bad. In fact, actually, my wife loves this shirt quite a lot. So, yeah. When I kind of suggested uh, this to her that I get this package deal and this is in there, she said, oh, this will look good on you. So let's see if that is the case. As I said, I'm not very fond of brown, but I'm very fond of getting a good deal. And that is probably one of the jerseys that, you know, as time passes on and you keep it in good shape, um, one may sell it on for a little profit at one time. Although I'm not usually not doing that. So yeah, that's the deal. Overall 20 for both of these shirts. So again, we have the England 2006 jersey. Typically 2006 style, but uh, not a bad one. I always liked this one. And then we have the PSG 2006-07 away jersey. PSG was rotten in that, that season. They had actually a nice home jersey as well. It's blank on the back. So very, very pleased with that one. Any case, do you like these jerseys in here? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.